welcome uh, in this video we are going to introduce the uh, concepts that are available in this probability and statistics first let us start with the random variable random variable it means uh, the way basically we know the concept of variable okay variable means it can take any value right and it is not necessary that it should contain it should hold the same value throughout which means it can have different set of values at different instances okay constant means it is a fixed quantity that is not changed at any time whereas variable means it can take anything okay now random means you do not you do not know what sort of values that the variable is going to take it can be random but this random uh, can be spread over something okay suppose you are tossing a coin okay let x denote the output when we toss a coin so here if you see the possible outputs are either we will head get tail or head okay this is the possible outcomes are known as sample space and this variable x will take one of the value in this sample space okay this is okay. suppose if we are uh, throwing a uh, dice so in that case we would get these as the possible outcomes so the random variable x associated uh, with the throwing a die will have one of this output okay suppose we are dealing some experiment uh, some temperature calculation if we are dealing uh, these kind of uh, things we know that uh, the temperature will can take any value in this interval okay when we say in this interval it can go as high as possible or as low as possible okay so it is not necessary that it should have a finite uh, uh, like a countable number of uh, possible outcomes it can be anything okay so these are some basic stuff random variable means uh, based on the type of the value that the random variable takes we classify the random variables into two types no uh, namely known as discrete and continuous random variables okay when it comes to discrete random variable uh, to uh, okay let us say x is the discrete random variable we associate uh, probability mass function to discrete random variable okay when we say discrete random variable this x will have some countable number of options countable means it can be either finite or infinite in countable sets okay to uh, and to uh, every uh, possible outcome that x takes we associate some probability with it okay so we let us call them as uh, in this fashion and remember the total probability total probability is always one therefore summation p of x equals xi where i runs from 1 to n or uh, if it is going to infinity till infinity this probability is one okay this is what the probability mass function is all about okay and we have distribution function or cumulative distribution function it means it is denoted as capital f of x it is probability of x smaller than or equals x okay which means summation uh, suppose we are talking about some xj it is summation i runs from 1 to j probability of x equals xi in the case of discrete random variable now let us see for the continuous random variable and with every continuous random variable we associate some function called probability density function and that is usually denoted as small f of x and uh, <coughs> here this is continuous 
so when we say can okay uh, supposing x this can take any value in this interval in this case so a supposing this is our a b between these two these two points our function can take any value so uh, you can treat this as the uh, something some area calculation kind of a thing so this is the probability that we are going to calculate so if you see the total probability is what here it is continuous so when we extend that ideology we will get integral from minus infinity to infinity f of x dx is 1 whenever your x is taking values from minus infinity to infinity suppose supposing uh, x is taking only the values in a to b it means integral a to b f of x dx is 1 okay again here we have the concept of distribution function that is capital f of x that is from minus infinity to x the density function and remember derivative of density function gives you the sorry derivative of distribution function gives you the density function here in continuous random variable we do not associate probability at each of its points okay in a particular interval or in a particular region or to be specific in a particular interval what is the probability that is what we are going to calculate whereas in discrete random variable we calculate probability at, at each of the possible outcomes of the random variable okay so here uh, in the case of discrete random variables suppose you are asked to calculate the probability of some uh, set okay or some some something is given you are asked to calculate this probability how do we do it in order to do it we just look for what is this a of course this a would be a subset of the sample space okay and for all the entries in the a suppose this a has some elements let us say okay in this case we find out the probability of x taking this values and we just sum them up this is the probability of a okay whereas here in the case of continuous random variable if you are asked to calculate the probability of a of course this a would be some interval or union of intervals okay suppose a is of this form and let us have this form where this interval are distinct okay so in this case probability of a is integral sorry probability of a1 is integral a to b f of x dx and probability of a2 is integral a to b f of x dx plus integral c to d f of x dx okay so with which we can work out a few problems here if you see we are uh, we are given with some density function it means here x is the uh, random variable uh, continuous random variable and we are given with two sets that is uh, this a is the set 1 to 2 that is a is the interval 1 to 2 and b is the interval 1 upon 4 comma 5 okay if you notice f of x is defined from 1 to infinity we are asked to find out the probability of a which means uh, we'll have to integrate this function from 1 to 2 okay and this is a simple integration 1 to 2 1 upon x square dx and i hope uh, you can perform this integration and probability of b is from 1 upon 4 to 5 so here if you see this function is starting from 1 only which means 1 upon 4 to 1 f of x dx plus 1 to 5 f of x dx. Here in this region it is 1 upon x square whereas in this region it is 0. 
so this quantity is zero so you will have to integrate from 1 to 5 now probability of a union b if you make the union of these two things your a union b is your b itself okay and if you go for a intersection b it is 1 upon 2 that is a itself okay so it is just a matter of performing some simple integration i hope that you can do here we have another function uh, here we have the density function of some random variable it is given here some c some some unknown quantity is appearing here okay and we are asked to find out that unknown quantity and the uh, distribution function and some probability this is what we will have to calculate in this problem if you if you recall the things that we have discussed that is the total probability is one so using the fact that total probability that is from minus infinity to infinity f of x dx is one we just split that okay from zero to one it is x and from one to c it is two minus x and elsewhere it is zero so this sh should be equal to one and if you perform the integration and simplify you get some quadratic equation and c when you solve it you get c to be equal to two okay so now our density function becomes this now we need to find out the distribution function that is actually from my uh, f of x is from minus infinity to x f of t dt okay from minus infinity to 0 it is 0 okay and from 0 to x we have the values 0 to x means now we have to be very careful what if that x falls in this category so only this we will have to consider okay supposing that x is uh, actually it is from minus infinity to 0 x and uh, supposing x is somewhere below 0 in that case we do not have anything our uh, distribution function is 0 itself supposing x falls in this category that is from uh, 0 to 1 if it is falling then we will have to consider only this case so we will have to integrate from 0 to x to this tdt this gives you this okay and suppose x is falling in this 1 to 2 category then what happens is that from minus infinity to uh, 0 it is 0 plus from 0 to 1 it is tdt from 1 to some x it is 2 minus x when you perform this integration and simplify it you will get this supposing x is more than 2 in the case what happens we have covered everything so it is going to be the total probability that is 1 okay now that uh, okay in uh, to find this probability what we need to do we will have to substitute the value of c that is 1.2 okay so from 0.5 to 1.2 we will have to integrate 0.5 is uh, lying in this interval so from 0.5 to 1 it is the case and from 1 to 1.2 this 2 minus x has to be submitted when we perform this integration we get this value okay thank you